Ladies and gentlemen, one and all, male greetings, good day, and welcome back to Let's Play Outlast, the Whistleblower, episode number seven. Yes, indeed. When we last left off, our battered protagonist, Mr. Whalen Park, got forcefully stuffed and shoved into a cremation oven alive by the cannibal in order to be turned into a delicious cooked snack. Yes. Thankfully, I was able to escape certain doom by breaking through the old and fragile brick wall in the back of the oven with several mighty blows. <laughs> Doesn't even matter that these hands now happen to be broken and busted, I couldn't care less. <laughs> Just add the most recent injuries to the list of existing vexations. Oh, what a fine list it is. Not yet as impressive as the list of Miles Upshur, but we are getting there. <laughs> oh, why is this happening? Bloody hell. Can't the suffering end? How much more must I endure? Oh, please, Mount Massive Asylum, I know that you are listening. Please. Grant me salvation, banish the shadows, and reveal the sacred exit, the true exit, to Mr. Waylon Park, please. And if you do not listen, then the hell would you. The hell would you. Mount Massive Asylum, burn. Taste the flames. Let them burn. Yes, let it burn. Do you remember the arsonist of the male ward, ladies and gents? He said those words. And I fully agree. Indeed, it should burn down to the ground. This structure is haunted, cursed. It is an abyssal labyrinth, a festering nexus of pure madness and sheer insanity, a slaughterhouse that never sleeps, and so on and so forth. Such a nightmare. It must disappear. Forever, bury the past, erase it completely. Hmm. Oh, why? Why is this door locked? Why is it boarded up? I don't believe this. I won't believe this. I shall never believe this. <laughs> But I do not wish to disappear along with the building. Oh no, I want to escape. Because you see, staying and playing the hero, as it were, wouldn't really achieve much. No, no, no. It wouldn't allow us to take down Mount Massive Asylum. As we know, what happened to Miles Upshur was rather unfortunate, as well as kind of my fault, but at the same time, quite practical. My email brought him here, and his more or less willing sacrifice destroyed the morphogenic engine. A significant victory. Sadly, and here lies the problem, it also unleashed the wall rider, freed it from its prison. So what does that mean? Well, it seems you cannot hurt Mount Massive without dying in the process, followed by unforeseen consequences. And I won't risk a dose again, oh no. <sighs> Christ almighty. Mount Massive Asylum might even be more indestructible than the Merc of Corporation. Oh, this damn building. This godforsaken building. I am unable to bring it down from within. But maybe, just maybe, I could from outside. First, I'll need to escape, though. God damn it. I'll need to escape. But how? Uh, 
I'd love to follow those people I saw earlier, but I can't. This door, it is boarded up. Oh, why Mount Massive Asylum? Why must you always show me the way? But, but I am not allowed to take that way. I can't take the ways you show me. I can only look at them from a distance. Why must you be so heartless, so merciless? Mount Massive Asylum, why? Why can't you just fuck off and leave me alone? Uh, I need an exit. Neurology? Nah, this room is useless. We've only got a desk, and debris, and a wheelchair. Uh, nothing. This room is so worthless. Uh, that only leaves the library of the hospital. But I do not wish to enter the library, and why? Because that name brings back painful memories. Oh yes, I remember the library of the administration block. I also remember what it contained. Yes, hanging corpses and severed heads. An impaled murk of mercenary who tried to warn me about the variants, but I ignored his words. And then, Miles Upshur, he got plunged into his own personal hell. The library? A messenger? Yes, a messenger of the apocalypse. Such is the nature of the Mount Massive Asylum libraries. Now, of course, you may ask why should this library be as bad as the last? Well, I don't really know. I guess there isn't a true, a real reason. But that saw I heard. Ugh, the sounds of that saw. I don't like him. He is close. The sounds were so close, incredibly close. And as we've established, he sure loves to ambush me. So far he succeeded in ambushing me two times from behind and from the side. That only leaves the front. But why would you try to ambush me from the front? That doesn't make sense. It could never work. You don't ambush somebody from the front. But this guy, I am sure he could find a way. The damn cannibal. <sighs> Very well then. It's either the library or starving to death here. Fine. The library it is. Oh, please. Don't. Well, this room sure is big. Hmm. Plenty of old books. A desk. And a boarded up door. Probably leads into the corridor of salvation. And I can't enter it. Hmm. Oh dear. Why did you stop breathing? Waylon? Are we good to go? Are you trying to tell me that? Hmm. Very well then. I guess I was mistaken. This room isn't so bad after all. Alright, Mount Massive, I shall accept the peace treaty. But don't you try and screw me over. Oh, don't you fucking try. Here we go, I guess. Urology over there sounds intriguing. Well, oh, oh my fucking god! Uh, no, no, you uh, must. Uh, uh, no, 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 the light. <laughs> that son of a bitch. Why doesn't he give up already? Why can't he fucking give up? I couldn't even check out the urology room. I couldn't. He appeared out of nowhere, from the front. 
Oh, he did it. He did it and I wasn't expecting it really. I fell for it. Oh, what's that sound? Not the sound of a saw, but... Sounds like gas. Oh my god, is that gas? Well, at least the old rules still apply. He can't uh, follow me through uh, those shelves. I was able to squeeze through them, but he can't. He just disappeared. Oh, again he fucking disappeared. Is that guy a wizard or something? Why is he always appearing and reappearing out of nowhere? And disappearing and reappearing. I mean, and uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't care about using the proper words today. Oh, so many chairs. <laughs> Interesting. Uh. Oh. Delightful. A dead body. With a battery next to it. I want that battery. Uh, but a plastic wall or something is blocking my path. Oh, that is gas. Oh dear. What the fuck am I doing? Don't ask, I don't know. Uh, no, 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 no. I won't go back. It's such a bad idea. Uh, Damn it. <laughs> Just keep on moving. Uh, the further the further you walk, the better the chances that he won't be able to catch up as quick, as fast, as uh. Oh, this this hospital. It never ends, and every damn room looks the same. We've got debris, we've got wheelchairs, we've got pictures. Every damn room. Oh, lovely. A restroom. Sure, <laughs> gotta love the toilets of Mount Massive Asylum. <sighs> Maybe there's a battery inside of it. <laughs> what the hell is going on there? Oh my god, there are people inside of that stall. Get a room, you two! What the fuck are you doing? Oh my god. Should I open that stall? Well, there's nothing else. Huh? Um, sounds like someone is trying to kill somebody. Um, don't mind me, I am just feeling a little curious. Uh. Oh my god, it's you. It's him. Uh. 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 Oh my god, it was the creep. The creep I encountered some time ago. The guy who made me jump. The guy who smashed that one doctor's face into the glass of the airlock. The decontamination chamber. It's him. It must be him. That face. That stare. The voice. So he's still alive and now he is here torturing another doctor. Well, he sure doesn't like them. He wants to get revenge. And he won't stop anytime soon. Well, taping that gave me a new note, I believe. Varying effects. Lisa, or whoever finds this, know that Murkov is making monsters. I'd never seen the patients after they'd gone through that German so-called therapy. The engine. So much worse than I could have imagined. They may still be human. But something's been ripped out of them, and too many. Other things pushed back in. They were not all murderers. They were sick, but they weren't killers. Murkov made them monsters. Dr. Rose had said the engine had varying effects. <laughs> 
hence the name. The variant outcomes too erratic for any sort of prediction. I took it as idle cafeteria small talk, Raw's endless chatter. I should have listened. Well, isn't this interesting? It appears Mr. Whelan Park never met the variants before. Well, not before this incident, this outbreak. He only ever saw the patients, but he never saw what happened to them. He knows of Dr. Wernicke, though. <laughs> well, Mr. Whelan Park, this happens to be the sad, the grim, the terrifying reality. Murkov was indeed making monsters turning innocents into freaks. And now they are free, and they want to kill you. Oh, if only you had tried to stop them sooner. Although, I don't think that would have accomplished much. After all, your email... What did it do? It caused you to, well, become a prisoner. It caused you to become a volunteer, as it were. Had you tried to send an email sooner, then maybe you'd have died. Because the incident wouldn't have happened as soon. Yes, you would have died. <sighs> we need to get out of here. Away from the variants. And away from him. <sighs> get me out of here. I can hear so much gas. Uh. Why? Why are the decontamination chambers filled to the brim with gas? Some kind of security measure? Could be. Uh, did the chambers of the main game have any gas? I remember unlocking some of them, but I can't remember gas. So why is there gas now? Well, right, of course, these events, they are taking place before the main game, so... Could it be that I need to turn off the gas? Did I turn off the gas? Uh, I don't know. But somebody cut his way through here. Oh, dear. Uh, greetings. You certainly look dead. Hmm. Huh through there, or maybe this way, uh. ah, the battery, mm. thank you, mm. the cannibal is nowhere to be seen, but exactly that fact worries me. It worries me a lot. Uh, why is there blood on the floor here? Whose blood is it? Hmm. God. Everyone is dying. The people of this building, they just can't stop dying. What the hell was that guy doing inside of the chamber? Maybe he entered it from the other side and then it locked behind him? <laughs> but he saw the gas. Maybe he expected it to open... Uh, to just open up, you know? He entered it and he expected it to cycle. You know, cycle through, or whatever do you call it. Uh, I don't know how that chamber works, but you enter it, then the door behind you closes, and the other door should open after a short sequence. Maybe he expected that to happen, but uh, it just closed, and he got trapped. <sighs> and now he suffocated. Either that, or he died from... Well, I don't know what kind of gas that is supposed to be. Maybe he suffocated... Maybe he got, uh, you know, what's the word? Poisoned? Well, no, that's not poison, but maybe the gas is toxic? Sure looks toxic. The greens. <laughs> I don't know, but he's dead. I've got a new goal, though. I need to... 
shut down and turn off the gas. Oh yeah, nothing simpler than that. <laughs> but how? How do I do it? Hmm. Oh my, we've got a document here. The situation is growing out of hand. It is growing out of hand so much. I need to get out of here. This damn death trap. <sighs> Lesser known ecological aspects of humanity. Yeah, this sounds like something Dr. Wernicke would read. Hmm. Excerpt from 1957 and comment on IG report operations of TSD. 7. Influencing human behavior. E. The potential use of psychomedicals. No, 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 not psychomedicals. The potential use of psychochemicals in political action operations is well recognized, although it has not been explored as thoroughly as might be expected. Chemical division includes it as an objective of its program to be prepared to support or make such operations possible. Non-chemical methods of accomplishing political action operations are also included in the program. Oh god, this sounds just like more nonsense. Note, J. Lawler, April 15th, 1958. Present the above MK Ultra excerpt. Uh, MK Ultra. So this is from the CIA era of Mount Massive. Presented to technical services divisions for budgeting and authorization of continued research into research of Dr. Rudolf Wernicke, asset 14866, and Project Wallrider. Autopsy of recovered test subjects shows chemical content of bodies, metallic tumors, evidence of subdermal combustion that indicates heavy psychochemical dosage. See note something 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 Berlin 6th of September 1938. God, this goes back a long way. But already back then they were experimenting. They were developing the Wallrider project. They were trying to figure it out. Its connection, its relation to human bodies. How to make the swarm of nanites interact with human bodies, human DNA, their cells and everything. Oh, this is so confusing, this is so crazy, and it doesn't even matter because this happened in the past and it all led to this. What matters is the present, what matters is my current situation. Ugh. Get me out of here. <gasps> no. No. No, 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 no. Uh, nurses station. Uh, there are no nurses here. Hello, nurse. Um. Is it this door? Oh god. I can see a light. And I can see a shadow. Oh, someone's behind this door. Is it him? Is it him? It must be him. But, but, no. Why, why should I open this? Why would I ever want to open this door? <sighs> Fine. Don't let it be him. Fingers crossed. Uh, don't. Please. Please don't. Looks exciting. Uh, just don't mind me. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, you need to understand we all have our own personal hobbies, and I am not gonna insult his hobby. 
I think he he might actually be onto something there. Uh, he also looks like that one guy. They all look the same. All of the fucking variants look the same. What is this? Lots and lots of numbers. And the number 237 is flashing. Uh, what was this place called? The nursery station? So these must be patient rooms. And I think if a patient needs something, they can like uh, push a button and then that number will begin to flash. So that the nurses know we need to visit that patient. Uh, why is that number in particular flashing? Uh, should I check it out? <coughs> why not? I mean, I've got uh, nothing else to do, right? <laughs> uh. Oh, darkness. Inviting darkness. Where am I? Oh, this place. And I can still hear him. Uh. Mm. The light. Oh, I hate seeing that red light. Uh, everything is flashing red. Everything is trying to tell me that I am gonna die. Uh, where to now? <gasps> uh, that sounds so loud. I thought someone was right next to me. Oh. Sure. That's his door. His new door to play with. Hello? Ah. That must be the door. Number, I think it was 237. Yeah. This corridor. It has them all. Oh god. Should I investigate every single room? What could possibly go wrong? Hmm. Oh, they are so dark. Huh. Okay, I can hide beneath these beds. Uh, that's nothing new. Hmm. A ventilation shaft up above. A boarded up restroom. Hmm. 227. Hmm. Oh. An open ventilation shaft. I could try to climb inside of it. But why would I want to? Uh, I shouldn't ask these questions. Oh god, why is this room open? 225? Are you gonna be my end? My death? No, but this room can't even afford a proper bed. Uh, I'm wasting battery life. Seriously, my batteries, they are dying, one after the other. I need to find something of worth. I need to find more batteries or uh, more documents. So why is that light flashing? Someone obviously made it flash. But why? I mean, I want to go there. I'm feeling curious. Hello? Hello? Somebody over there? Anybody? Mm, or maybe it's just a corpse, you know. Maybe... <laughs> maybe somebody died on top of that button. Uh, could be. Am I right? Hello? I know you! Oh. Uh, 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 oh my fucking god, no! Uh, geez, what? You bastard! Oh no, 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 please let us let us talk about this. Let us please let us fucking talk about this. I mean, oh god. No, no, you can't smell me. Oh god. Oh god, it's a dead end. Well, this is bad. This is bad. This is quite bad. The fucking cannibal is back. I knew it. Somehow I knew it. He was responsible. He hit that button. He lured me here. How fucking smart is that guy? He ambushed me again? And that other guy, are they working together? 
He is now blocking the door. He's blocking my, my way out. So I am trapped. And this is a dead end, so... I'll need to return to that corridor. I'm gonna die. Oh god, there is no way out this time. I, I'm gonna die. He's got me. He's got me right where he wants me. <sighs> oh god, this is... This is this is gonna be something. Oh god, I'm gonna die. But I can't die. Oh no. I... Oh god, I need to risk it all. Uh, here goes fucking nothing. <laughs> he broke this door. He broke it. I guess he couldn't get inside. Maybe he tried to get inside, but he accidentally broke the door so much that it won't open anymore. Maybe not from the other side, but I guess I could try to open it. Oh god. <gasps> Where is he? Uh, oh god, this is creepy. Where the fuck is he? Uh, you traitor. You fucking bastard. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> Maybe he was in that dark room. Or the other dark room. He was somewhere. Oh god, the room is also open. Well, here I am. 237. Hello? Oh gosh. Just oh my god! No! No, 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 Oh, the outside world, I can see mountains. Oh god, where am I? Oh, calm down. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Oh, an open room. Oh, calm down. Calm down. Where am I? 248. Anything? Anything? No, no, no. Nothing. Uh, a beautiful picture of horses. Uh, beautiful. Quite beautiful. <gasps> that shadow. Oh my god, I jumped at my own fucking shadow. That freaked me out. Who the fuck jumps at shadows? Uh, uh, I, I, I won't do that again, I'm sorry. Uh, I should try to be more professional. But I can't with that fucking cannibal on the loose. <sighs> shadow. Don't you dare betray me again. I swear to God. <laughs> no. Well, this room looks quite modern. I hear the door close behind me. He's fast. He's so fast. He's like a predator. Oh my god. He... he is... he's not gone. He isn't gone. He's just stalking me. He is... just trying to follow me. Oh god. I'm not safe. I'm not safe. I'll never be safe as long as I am inside of this damn building. Hmm. Oh, get me out. Get me out, get me out, I can hear gas. <gasps> I hear that. I fucking hear that. Uh, gas. Gas. Uh. Go away! This is my place. Good day, friend. You gotta get me killed! Fuck off! Oh, you're as good as dead. You don't know who's following me. Uh. 
but you'll serve as a nice distraction. <laughs> Sorry, but you're just gonna die. Accept it. You're gonna die. It's 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 gonna happen. Uh, uh. I'm maybe maybe I am on the other side of one of the chambers I saw earlier. I don't know. I can't tell. But I shall end the episode here, because we are approaching the gas room, and I bet inside of that room we can turn off the gas, and maybe then we can finally escape this damn hospital. I am growing so sick and tired of it, as well as him. Oh god, that fucking bastard, he, he, he'll never give up. He'll chase me till the end of fucking time. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, one and all, when we'll return, We'll try to shut off the gas, and then we're gonna try to escape this place forever and ever. I want to escape it. I never want to see it again. Until then, until then, my name has been the Shadow Cookie. Hope you enjoyed the episode. See you all next time. My nerves. My fucking nerves. Ugh.